His name is Bruce Mansfield, and it's a very great pleasure to have you in the studio, Bruce. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Tom, and... Uh very kind of you to have me in here. Well, well actually, it, it, it's not. It's an honour for me because you were one of the people that I always wanted, you know, I, I thought I, I'd made it at 3AW if I could sit here across, a, across the, the, the microphone desk with you and it, it's finally happened. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a lovely thing to say and uh, 50 years, it's a, it's a long time, but it's gone so quickly from uh, a young fellow listening to my uncle on radio and uh, at eight years of age thinking, how, how does he do it? He gets a dinner suit on, goes in to do a show and then I see him come home i'd love to do that and that got me thinking as a young man and and at 14 15 i won a junior competition a junior announcers competition on 3uz went on to 3xy channel 9 channel o reading the news and yeah. 30 years ago came here to 3aw and here you still are yes <laughs> after all this time tell me look at what, what have been some of the highlights of your, of, of your 50 years on radio and on television well, I suppose uh, one of the highlights was working with John Blackman and Darren James for 10 years on Breakfast. Mm. One of the hardest passages of time is to set the clock for 3 o'clock in the morning and get up and be funny. But I, I did a uh, character called Uncle Roy for those years, and I based it on Norman Banks, who was a, a, a great announcer here mm. for many years on, on, on uh, 3AW, calling football and current affairs. And I remember as he was getting older in time, he was taking a lot of call talkback calls, and I based based Uncle Roy on him, and he'd say, yes, I'm on your side, this is 3OW in Melbourne. Woman comes on and says, Norman, I just want to complain, the washing machine's packed up, my husband's left me, and I've got three kids under five, I'm gonna kill myself. He said, you're what? I'm gonna kill myself. You're going to kill yourself. You're not gonna. I think we've got to be very careful the way we're, we're speaking and teaching children today. And I, that was one of the great characters in uh, in radio. I tell you, um, I, I did a bit of searching on YouTube, something that's been invented in the past uh, ten years, and it's 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 sort of transformed the media. And I found a wonderful clip of you in 1975 reading the news on then Channel O, of course now Channel Ten, about the dismissal of the Whitlam government. Oh, yes, so that, that was quite a quite an important part of history, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And, of course, newsrooms in those days were a little bit on the left-wing side. Mm. So when uh, that was uh, the, that, that incident happened and, the, uh, and they were deposed, because everyone in the newsroom was wearing black armbands when yes. I arrived, you know. And to call out as the newsreader and say, any fan mail? Oh, you'd be, you'd be <laughs> almost flung in the yarra. Now, I understand reading your biography that, uh, you know, back in 1990, you and uh, you and Phil sort of came in as, as fill-in hosts for uh, Nightline. And here you are, you know, 21 years later, it's a hugely successful program. Um, how did that sort of evolve? Well, that was Alex Kenworthy. He uh, left the station uh, 21 years ago now, and uh, and I was approached by management to come in and, uh, and be a temporary replacement, if you like, and then you can never come in and say, I'm going to replace uh, an icon like uh, Alex Kenworthy. Uh, so I said, yes, I'll try it for a little while. And I said to Phil, listen, can you bring in some of your themes and old ads and, and uh, add to the program? He said, yes, just as long as I can come in and co-compare. So I thought, well, that's a that's a, <laughs> a very behind the scenes way of getting into it. But he joined me, and that was twenty one years ago now, Tom. It's astonishing. Now you're on air six nights a week, so Saturday nights your only night off. Yeah. You've got Remember When on Sunday nights, and, and you've got Nightline every night, Monday to Monday to Friday. Do, do you ever get tired of it? No, no. No, I've got to say that. Uh, any tardy again? The fright of the life when you walked in. <laughs> uh, you always get nerves. You'd get nerves at five minutes to the hour. I still do, and I do too. After mm. all these years you can never be that confident to say oh well it'll be easy going and without that just that little nervous twitter if you like uh, i don't think you put on a, a competent show well bruce congratulations on you i think it must be 50 51 almost 52 years in the media now yeah and i know that everybody at 3aw is very grateful that uh, you decided to come back as a fill-in host back in 1990 and 21 years later here you still are well I, it's lovely of you to welcome me, me and uh, tom and uh, congratulations on your success this year that was bruce mansfield 51 years in the media at a variety of stations 3uz 3kz but most famously right here on 3aw and of course you'll be on tonight with philip brady from 8 until midnight. Good on you, Tom. Thanks. All right, and uh, another superstar of radio has just well, stuck he, in. He, he used to read the news, too, on Channel 10. Did you miss oh, that? No, no we, no, we talked about that, Tony. He used to read with sunglasses on. Yeah, well, you it, have never forgotten <laughs> that, have you? Actually, actually the, the um, YouTube video I mentioned, you're wearing those big yellow glasses. Yeah. The funny thing is, Bruce, I thought you looked fantastic, and I had a pair of those same glasses for quite some time. Well, that's what we wore. They were big, yes. over-large sunglasses, yeah. uh, hair, yeah. sideburns, 
Sideburns. Sideburns. Down to the... Uh, Very handsome uh, you were, Bruce. Velvet jackets yeah. and velvet ties. Yeah. It was a strange era, wasn't it, the 80s? Velvet, my yeah. goodness. You ever worn anything with velvet in it? Actually, Tony, I have. In fact, it was, I think it was Graham Teasdale in 1977 or 78. Oh. Went to the brown yes. wearing a dark brown velvet he dinner jacket. did, and he never forgot it. <laughs> he looked an absolute <laughs> treat. <laughs> As I mentioned, there is another superstar of radio here with us in the studio. It's not me, it's Tony Tardio. Good afternoon, Tony. Oh, you too, kind. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. The bomb squad has been set into a suburban street.